thrift shop. With the help of the community, it's celebrating nearly five decades in business. Maggie Glass shares what the workers say is the secret to longe longevity. Whether you need a suit for work, some rain boots, you name it, the green olive tree in Crozet has it all. That's the way it's been for 45 years now, and it doesn't plan on slowing down anytime soon. A friend called me and said, we're thinking about starting a little business uh, so people can drop off their used clothes and others can come and buy uh, inexpensively. June Andrews says that was the moment in 1979 she decided she would help start the Green Olive Tree, a secondhand clothing and household items shop. We had no idea whether it would uh, survive, you know, two years. It more than survived. Now in her 90s, Andrew is still working at the shop, and she's not the only one who's put in her time. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So has Janet Martin. It's a ministry time to our customers who come in. Everyone at the shop works for free. They say they do this so that instead of having to pay wages, they can put that money right back into the community. We give to the food pantries. We give scholarships to, from high school to college. In total, the Green Olive Tree donated around $73,000 last year alone. Martin says part of its success comes from the outpour of donations. It's just amazing at the wonderful items we get in here. But the shop has a problem. With a deadline in August to move out of its current location, it's got nowhere to go. Now the time is getting close, so we're looking and looking and looking. Martin and Andrew say they are not worried, though. Nothing has stopped them yet. In Crozet, Maggie Glass, 29 News.